Hello everyone, it's Carrie back here again with you today to share a really fun card using some Miss Ink Stamps products. Today I've got the Stay Weird stamp set from the Magic Collection from Miss Ink Stamps. And this one has, let me put a piece of paper behind it so you can see it a little better. This one has some really fun images, a magical creature, some great sentiments. Today I'm going to use one of those girl stamps. And then Miss Ink also has some really great arches stencils that are brand new. I haven't used any of these yet, but look at all the different arches you can get. They have the positive and the negative pieces to the stencil. I'm gonna show you how to use those today. And then I also have the EIEIO frame die, which comes with a alpha die in the center of it, which is really cool. But I've already used these two frames from that set to cut out a black and a white piece of cardstock. For the cardstock, I'm gonna start with the white one here, and I'm going to use this Majestic Arch stencil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it on the back. Now, you are seeing some history right here. This is me in my brand new craft room. <laughs> I have just moved, and this is my first video ever in the new craft room. So you can see that my camera is a little bit off. I still have some adjusting to do here. And I realized it after I filmed the entire video and I'm doing this voiceover. So I've got some adjustments to do, but I'm really excited to be here in the new space. I used just a little bit of tape to tape that stencil onto the back. And now I've got three shades of green oxide inks that I'm going to ink on in kind of an ombre look and I'm going back and forth with each of those colors till I get a really great blend. To finish this off, I'm using a little bit of black soot here. I'm going to just ink around the edges and that will give it a darker look, make it look like there's a little bit of shadow around all the edges. I just missed a spot right here, so I'm gonna fix that real quick right up at the top. And that's going to finish off our arch look for the background. Now, this is where I'm gonna use this piece here, the extra piece where you can mask off that center arch. So I'm just going to place a piece of repositionable adhesive uh, dot runner right here, and I'm gonna put that over the arch that we just inked on, and now I'm gonna use this stencil. This is one of my favorites from Miss Ink. It's the cobblestone stencil. It is so cool for creating a castle look to your cards or a cobblestone walkway. I'm just going to ink this on with a little bit of pumice stone distress oxide and then I'm going to leave that stencil on because I want to add some more detail. So I have some mica mist here in a gray color. I'm just going to test it out on a piece of paper and I notice when I don't press all the way down it creates some more larger dots, but when I do press all the way down, it creates some smaller, smaller inks dots. So I'm going to use a variety here on this one, spray over that into a box that I found, <laughs> and then I'm going to set that aside to dry while I do some stamping. So I've chosen some of the images from the Stay Weird stamp set, and I've got this girl here. She's a magic girl. She's got a magic wand and a little book in her hand. So very cute. Then I also stamped the radishes three times and colored them up with an orange color. And I stamped also that rabbit. And I'm leaving a little bit of this coloring in just so you can see how I like to do my coloring on these images. I've got a light, a medium, and a dark shade. This is BG75, BG57, and BG45. And I start usually with the darkest color and blend that out with the medium color and then once again with the light color. Sometimes I'll go back in again with the darker color and blend those through once more. I like to have a little bit of contrast and I think that gives it more of a, a real life look with the lights and the darks. So here you go. This girl is super cute and you can see up above her I've also colored up her glasses in a pink and a blue, and I'm going to use the darkest blue color right here that I'm using around the frames. 
and then I will die cut these out and use that on on her face the glasses on her face so this part has dried I'm going to carefully remove that stencil because the stencil will still smear but I'm going to carefully remove that with my tweezers and then we've got this beautiful look before we add those characters on I'm going to ink on the sentiment using heat embossing so I've got some Versamark ink here that's a wet sticky ink so that it will hold that embossing powder on then I'm going to sprinkle some white embossing powder and heat set that with my heat tool so this sentiment here says stay weird and it fit just perfectly in the top of that arch frame so that's why I chose this sentiment I really thought it was fun too so here I'm heat embossing that until it melts and then we've got a nice white sentiment it says stay weird so I'm going to add all of these characters using some foam tape to pop them up give this card a little bit of dimension I will add the foam tape and then add each of these I'm kind of skipping through this a little bit quicker but I use my tweezers to place those just perfectly on the card here you can see her glasses are attached now to her face I just used some liquid adhesive for that there's the little rabbit and then I was just going to add the radishes using liquid adhesive as well but I really thought they needed more dimension so I'm cutting some little tiny pieces of that foam tape it's a little bit of a labor of love here for this but I really thought it was worth it in the end and then I'll place those up around and above her wand there we go just like that so cute really fun to add that magical look to this card it needs a little bit of something so first I'm going to attach these frames together and add it to my card base as I think about what I'm going to use to finish off this card and it just came to me I just need something simple here so I'm going to use a white gel pen to add some magical stars and dots to that background and that's really going to add that magic look that I want it may be a little tricky to see in the video but I added different sizes of stars here so some larger ones some smaller ones and now I'm going to add some dots all around that's going to finish off our card for today here is a closer look I love how the the mica spray looks in the background with the different sizes of dots it adds a little bit of shine and shimmer as well and those stars really create that magical look as well I love the dimension too the frames worked out perfectly for this card I hope you enjoyed this video today I've linked all the products below if you want to go take a look and thank you so much for stopping by we'll see you next time with our next card video don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing we'll see you real soon until then happy crafting bye bye